All right, hey there, Prox Gaming Crew, and this is Prox Fight here, and we're back for some more of the Paper Mario and a Thousand Year Door on the Switch. And if you didn't miss out during the last one, well, we went and fought against with Rockhawk. We do have his champion room and the title finally with us. And now, all that we have to do is just fight off with Grubba here, and we could get that completion of Chapter 3. Now, mind you, within the champion room that we do have, uh, some very nice, good, interesting stuff is going to happen from there. And uh, now, mind you, uh, since we went and head on into the champion bed uh, that was there, uh, we can actually get rehealed with all of our different stuff now, and basically at this point in time, the ends are completely useless now uh, throughout the rest of the other different chapters, and uh, just using an end is just going to waste off like so much amount of money, which I don't think you really want to go and do that, because you would rather want to go and put all your money towards to like all your special upgrades within the uh, items that are going to happen uh, through the mart and uh, some other different badges as well too and uh, not only that but you may possibly want to go and do some other things with the usage of the money without having to use the end so basically that kind of cancels everything out from that uh from just having to go and do any of those rest stops now but however we got the macho grubba form so let's see him in action here he's all in his hulk mode right now now, be careful with Macho Grubba because he can actually be somewhat of a really annoying enemy to go and, uh, go and worry about here as for the boss. And uh, basically what he likes to do is, is that he likes to basically add himself uh, with more extra turns. Uh, not only that, but he likes to power himself up, also raising up his defense. And of course, uh, going for one annoying move, which uh, that's going to be somewhat of a problem. And that is going to have to go and deal with his invincibility form, where he likes to go and put his little uh, special type of uh, magical type of invisible cape or something that he likes to go and do. And... Uh, we don't really want to go and worry about having to attack through all of that there. But mainly all that we're going to have to go and worry about is just making sure that we just set up for charges and uh, we can just keep on uh, lighting those up along as we go. Uh, so just like how we did it before with any other type of enemies or boss battles that we like to do, I always like to have uh, Goo Bella alongside with us at the very beginning so that we can at least figure out what his max HP is all about and see if he actually has any type of defense. Now I'm pretty sure he has a defense of zero. Just like before with Rockhawk. So we should at least be somewhat in the clear for that. So yeah, so our jumping power is going to work pretty well throughout our combination of badges that we have. So yeah, if you guys remember, we did have a, a badge combination that was all about using the charge or the charge partner badge and using the power bounce. So we're going to have to go and do all that from here. And after a little bit of some time though, however, uh, we whittled him down all the way down uh, to around 8 so that's not too bad. And all that we have to do now is just go and just grab our good old pal of uh, Binge over here. Let's just go for a nice good gulp. And uh, that should be able to do enough damage to get him done. So there we go. And that does mean that we're going to have a lot of star points here. And uh, we're going to get ourselves now with a level up. So very nice. Oh yeah. Let's get all the way up to that HP of 30. Because that's exactly where I want to go and be. I believe the last type of time that we went for a badge uh, upgrade was uh, from one of the past uh, level ups here. So no more BP, uh, so we don't have to worry about that. So we're going to go right back to HP and we'll continue while we're through there. So very nice. Okay, and we're good. Ooh, look at that. So now we're going to become a B-list star as well. So that's going to be nice. And this man of Grubba is now finally done and finished with here. So now we're going to actually figure out who is this X person all this time. And uh, this whole entire time of this X sending out emails and stuff was Jolene. So that was her. And uh, now she's going to go and talk about how she had a little brother, uh, which that was uh, with Mush. And she doesn't really know exactly where he went, uh, but it seems like uh, we're going to be able to figure out that uh, Mush has been inside that uh, crystal star. And he's going to be able to come out of that said crystal star and uh, finally be able to come back to reality. And uh, I want to say that at some point later on throughout this game, you will be able to go and take our Prince Mush and uh, see what that is going to be happening from there.
So that's what happened. So he knew about uh, this type of machine all this time. And then that's what went on from there. Pretty much just got completely sucked up into the crystal star. But here we go. The crystal star is doing something though. But for next episode, uh, we will be jumping back into Princess Peach and also with Bowser as well. Because we can't forget about those two other characters that have made their way throughout this game. Hey, there's Prince Mush. Oh, well, he's just finally starting to wake up and now he's back to normal. Oh, well, what a great ending to this chapter, though. At least Jolene uh, found out that Prince Mush is now finally back. And everything can all be happy all again once more. We're going to finally put a stop to that machine. Well, that is true. It's bad enough when we just go and pick it up and keep it for ourselves just so that this type of situation never happens ever again. And there we go, and just like that, we got another crystal star. Can't wait till we go and try out with any of these abilities from this one as well. But we'll have to worry about that for next time. But let's just go and give out the outro here. Uh, so thank you guys so much for going and checking out here for Paper Mario and a Thousand Year Door. For the next episode, we'll worry about with the other characters because we still have Princess Peach and also with King of the Koopas as well with Bowser. So we'll have to see what's going to happen from there. And, uh... I don't know. We'll probably also maybe do some little size things as well, too. But anyway, see you guys then. And of course, peace.